All right, we're back in Quern Underground, second half of the game. I mean, not that it's necessarily a half, but you know, second section, chapter, act of the game. And we're trying to do some uh, laser ricocheting, and I do understand how this works now, finally. So at this point, I need to just redo everything and get to B instead. We first need to get to B, so that we can set up C, and then I'm gonna assume after that point I need to get to D so that I can set up E. I don't know why this has a, a line here. This does not? Hmm. Maybe we have to get to E first and then open the gate to let in the laser to D or something? I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, so since, since these are 90 degrees, Honestly, it would be, I mean, I guess it's not that, it's not a big deal, but it would have been nice to see, like, the lines or whatever. I mean, I guess you couldn't really do that, showing that this is like a, uh, a 90 degree angle, this is a 90 degree angle, this one is like a straight line, and this is a 90 degree angle. But, yeah, doesn't really matter. So, now we need to take it up instead, then right, then down, then right, yeah. So, just up, right, uh, down, and there. Now this is linked up, yeah. And, yeah, let's, let's try, like, closing this. I want to see if I can... I cannot get out here anymore, I guess, like, while this is here, yeah. Uh, yeah, right. This one I've already seen both sides of. Yeah, so there's nothing here, but like... You gotta check the doors every time. You gotta check behind every door. It's the Riven way. And now I should be able to teleport. Ow, ow, ow. I don't like looking at that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. F find what is hidden three. And that's three. Okay, so I still haven't missed one. That's good, because I got two before. Always check behind doors! Yep, they sure learned from Mist and Riven. They took a lot from those. I guess we'll do it again. And then this opens up. Oh. We are underwater. I discovered Corridor. That is very beautiful. Oh, man. I'm trying to get, like, a nice shot. Yeah, that's cool. Nice lighting as well. So, what's going on with D, then? So, we're trying to get over here. Ah, that's what it means. D is blocked right now. E is fine, I guess. But what does that mean? I can't interact with anything here? Just, like, untie this, or just pull it to the side. So what do we need to do to fix that, then? Oh, and here you can, like, change the angle as well, I see. It's uh, a little barren, like, there's no... no life at all. Yeah, I'm not... not too sure what we're supposed to do, though. Because, like, if I send it through E... Oh, I guess, like, it'll burn this... Ah, it'll burn it because I can use the red one! Ah, I see. That's cool. We use the red crystal to send it through all the way to then burn the rope and drop this on the ground. I mean, I kind of want to do it with the green one just to see what how it looks. Like, does it work? So let's do it with the green one first. We can just, like, set that up. So we need to do E first and then D. It was like I, like I thought. So 
Man, this music is pretty loud. Hold on, let me turn down my headphones a bit. So, to get to E, the last one needs to be straight. Because we can only have either straight or diagonal. Uh, not diagonal, uh, 90 degrees. So, it has to be, like, across here. And then it's, like, top, uh, top left to bottom right. Like that. And then from here... Uh, what can we do here? Can we do a weird angle? No, they're all... I guess they're all this way. Yeah, they're all either 90 degrees or 180. No other other options. So here we need to do it 90 degrees this way. Like so. And then here we need to make it straight from uh, bottom left to top right. Yeah, like that, I think. And then the final one needs to just be 90 degrees. Like this. That should be fine. Now we go back. Yeah, I really don't like the teleport animations. <laughs> Very hard to look at. And then I need to switch this back to uh, the C one. And we do that like this, and then, what was it? Uh, this way, I think. And then from up here, 90 degrees there, and then 90 degrees there, wasn't it? We can open this now. Yep, that's fine. And that should go all the way. Oh yeah, I guess we can't see this. That should be going on the rope, but we can't see it. You would think it could, like, show a little bit of it, but let's just try swapping out the red crystal. There it goes. Yep, and we hear it fall, because we did it right. Okay, cool. And now, we can't teleport to E, so now we need to redo it to B again. Wait, how did we do it again? Yeah, up, and then straight, and then down. Like that. Ow, 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 ow. We get in here, and now we need to do D, because this is now here, and burnt. Again, <laughs> very... <laughs> overly convoluted when you could just, like, just move it or something. Just, like, pick it up and put it over this so it's just not in the way. But no, we have to play by the rules. We have to do everything the way it's meant to be be done. Alright, and then D. We need to send at a right angle up and left. And then straight straight over there then right angle up and right and just straight on the final one and that should be it once we get back and redo C again This way. No? Oh god, what am I doing? Uh. Shit, I, f I forgot. Hold on. We take it down there, then straight across here, then up and right, well, up and left, and then left and up. Yeah, I see. Up and left, left and up. There we go. 
Okay. Got confused there for a second. What? Wait, what's happening? That is going in there. Did I not do D correctly? What did I do wrong about D? It would be really nice if you could, like, open this up from the, uh, the inside, but... I guess you're not supposed to. Or, like, you could open this up. I don't know, like, you open this up, but then you can't press... I don't know how you would do that. Something where you could get in, just, like, check stuff, but not so that you could, like, switch things around... ...until you, like, confirm it or something, or, like, get back here. I don't know. Maybe that's not really reasonable. But then... Oh god, what, what did I do wrong now? So what's wrong about this? C goes in here. We want to get to D. So for D... Is this some jape where... No, it can't be, like, mirror-mirrored because we already got to E. E was fine. So D has to be left and up, then straight, horizontal, then up and right, and then horizontal. Horizontal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Mistake. And this again. Oh, I guess you can just click it, yeah. Though you can also, like, click and turn it, which is kind of easier. Uh, and then this was, like, up here and in there. No, it was not. It was the other way around. This way. There we go. And that should go all the way. There we go. Finally. Here we go. This is still only showing, like, one and not two. That is, like, linked to two. Ow, ow, ow. More, more of this. Ow. Underwater hideaway. He's got a nice chair for just looking at the water. Oh god. Yeah, we're not done with puzzles yet. He's not here, though. Yeah, I mean, it sure is pretty. It's a little stuttery, but that's fine. You got a leak or something. That doesn't look good. Maybe that's intended. Oh, whoops. Oh, I can't... Oh, there we go. I swear these particles used to show up, like, quicker when I held this button. It wasn't like you hold it and then slowly... I I'm holding it now. And then they show up. I thought it was like you click it and it's just, this is what you can interact with. Yeah, it's like really slow to show you what you can interact with now, which is very weird. I feel like that changed once we uh, started the under underground stuff. Oh. Oh, I thought he was going to be in there. Can I just put that back? No, that was a one-time thing. All right, well, what do you have to say for yourself? Wasting time. This phrase has no rhyme or reason. After the centuries I've spent working, I needed a calm and quiet place. I originally built this facility to explore the depths of the ocean and to research, but eventually I spent more time resting here. This was the only place where I could hide from her. She judges me for demolishing long forgotten buildings on an abandoned island while she is directly responsible for much greater destruction. And after she told me about their failure, she dared asking me to destroy Quern. Her agony is not my concern, and especially not yours. This power is not hers to give or take. 
I mean, he does bring up a good point. Like, so far he seemed very, like, conceited and just, like, not... Like, someone you want to trust or really believe in, but... I mean, it is true, like... Yeah, I guess it, it was her culture and all of that, like, it's... I guess he shouldn't have done that for no reason, but... Did he do it for no reason? And yeah, it's like, it, it is abandoned, her people are gone. It could further science, I suppose, like, he's doing things that could potentially help people. I don't know. Though, uh, it seems awfully convoluted, and... Though it seems awfully, uh, inefficient to build a giant underwater, like, lab to study the ocean. Wouldn't it be better to just build, like, a, a submarine of some kind? Can I sit down? Ah, I want to sit down and have a nice, relaxing cup of herbal tea. What is that, peppermint? And just look at the non-existent fish. What are we playing, Battleship? I don't know what's going on there. How is that going to tie into this stuff? Hmm. Yeah, so we can, like, set what coordinates to go to, I guess? But only up to six. No. Yeah, we got up to nine. But then, like, how do we do A, B, C? Anything else I could interact with here? Other than this pod? No? Ah, uh, do I want the diving suit? I guess so. Dress me. Oh. Well, I guess this is for exploring the ocean. Oh man, suddenly we're playing like Soma or something. Yeah, this is very interesting. I can still zoom though, so we can get like better looks at stuff. Where are the sharks and sea monsters? Yeah, we had a lever there, but let's hold off. Watch there be a, a door I can close and then like look behind and there's a hidden symbol underwater as well and it's like... Dude, why? NFT? Wait. 2F1? Can I sketch while underwater here? Apparently I can. I just brought my notepad with me. Just holding it out and sketching, like, with a suit. And here's something as well. I don't know if I want to just pull a bunch of levers. Before I know what they do, let's hold off. Yeah, this is a very unexpected section. And there's a third lever. And they don't have any, like, markings at all on them, so we don't know which lever to pull when. But I guess we'll just have to pull the levers and see what happens. There's something else. Hold on. So, this said 2F1. 3, 2F1. 1, I, age 3, or 1, age 3. So, I guess I should try and look around for... There must be another one somewhere. Maybe it's, like, fallen down or something. There must be a uh, 2 that has a different... Yep, there we go. Coordinate. Oh, there's more! Four, ID9. If we sketch it like this, does he sketch the, like... Yeah, he, he does sketch this as well. I mean, it's just, like... It just sketches whatever you see. And is this... No. Ah. Stop. God. The menuing can sometimes be a little tricky. 
Yeah, like you can see them, it's a little tricky, but it's fine, I think. So we still need two and potentially more if there's like beyond four. And yeah, obviously you can't sprint under here. Doesn't look like we'll run out of oxygen. Oh god, why is that so bright? But where is number two? Number one, number four, number three. Ah, there it is, number two. Two C eight or something? I I C eight? I guess it's like hmm. No. I'm not I'm not too sure. If it's like Roman numeral, but then C8, what does that mean? Like, I mean, we'll see. I think I have all of them now. So, okay, let's start pulling levers. Let's pull this one first. I thought it was going to be three of these and they were going to relate to the levers somehow. Don't know what that did. I see. It might be something about that. Where it's like... Uh, we have the coordinates D9. Like, let's, let's start with number one. So we start with number one. I might be like, one of the lights should be on? Or something? I don't know. Not sure. Let's go and turn on all of them, just to see what happens. Maybe you just go around and turn on all of them, and this is only here so that you, like, adequately explore this underwater section, just so that you, like, notice some of these things and start piecing things together, which would be a good way to do it. I don't know. We'll see. Like, we have to pull all three levers to sort of charge, plug up this, this hole, and now we're ready to, like, travel or fire or whatever it is we're doing with this tube. Yeah, let's see. Looks like we're gonna have to end it off pretty soon again, though. I definitely expected this to just be a very quick ending sequence, but... This has turned into, like, my favorite part of the game. Thank you for undressing me. What if you, like, accidentally had, like, your arm down or something when this just, like, ripped the fucking suit off you? This seems very dangerous. Yeah, so three of those are active now. Whatever that means. We don't see anything else. Yeah, I guess this is all so that we can get this piece or something. So... Yeah, we have four, but like, oh god, was there a fifth one out there? Or what? what is this gonna mean? Ah, two, I see. But yeah, what, what does it mean? So it's only either one or two. So like, we start with number one, which is on the number one, uh, like, plaque or whatever, and it's age three. So, on number one, we want to go here, but what does that mean? What do we do with that? 
I guess I should... Oh no, yeah, I was gonna say, like, I should write that down, but I have it written down, that's fine. What does that do for us? One age three. And I can only, like... We need to use that somehow to get numbers. Oh! Of course. Of course they bring in the blue torch again. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Okay, that makes sense. So, age three is zero. So we start with zero. Uh, I, let's do this one. Three, two, F1. Two, uh, F1 is three. Four, I, uh, one, D9. D9, uh, is five. It's not A. Uh. It's five. And two, two C, was it? C8, two C8. Uh, two C8 is eight. Okay, but then what about the final digit then? Do I just trial and error that one? Like you can. Did I say eight? Hello? You can't. There we go. Yeah, 2C8 is 8. Because we have five digits. Maybe... Hold on. Maybe there's another one. I, you could just trial and error it, obviously. But let's just go out and take a quick look just to see if there's another one. I might even cut this if there's nothing. It wouldn't be in like a sneaky spot where... Oh, you can only see it from, like, inside, maybe. That could be a thing. Oh, I think that's glitching a little bit. Water is unloading. Because, yeah, obviously we can, we can just trial and error it. Because it'll automatically just complete when I get the right combination. So maybe it is just four digits and you're just supposed to guess the fifth one. But it seems kind of, like, unnecessary to do that. Like, why not just have five of these that you get numbers for? But I don't see anything. Yeah, I don't see anything. It doesn't seem like there's a fifth one out here, which is a bit of a shame, because, yeah, like... Sure, you can, you can just get it by process of elimination, but it's still, like, nice to have a complete password, complete passkey in games, instead of having to just, like, brute force one of the digits. I feel like that's just, like, more elegant in a way, but let's just, like, quickly look that there's nothing that I couldn't see in the suit, and you're supposed to see, like, out here instead. Or potentially even across here. Oh, but I can't do that, because then I would have to, like, redo all of these things, and that's just not worth it. Yeah, ne never mind. Let's brute force it. Alright. So, the code would be... Uh, oh... 0835. And then we just go through. It, it was three. Yeah. I don't love that. Just that there's no fifth one. Like, it's fine. Because obviously, you got four out of five digits. You can just... You can just do it. It's not a problem. But, yeah. Just, like, why not just have the fifth one? It's not like there's anything to figure out at that point. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. But otherwise, that was... That was very cool. I love the underwater section. It's very, very beautiful. It's like one of my main problems with the visuals of this game is just that the game has looked so like kind of bland and like gray and desaturated. Like it's it's pretty 
what you see is pretty, but yeah, it's like very... It's like the opposite of The Witness, and maybe that's just me being spoiled by The Witness, because The Witness is like eye candy the whole way through. This game looks very nice, but yeah, like you you take any screenshot of the game and it's just a, a grey, brown, beige mess, and it's very like non-distinct in that sense. So it's very nice to have a section like this that's just like super visually impactful and looks gorgeous and just like colorful and, and fun. So yeah, very cool. We got two out of three keys. Next time, I guess we're going back and doing the final section. I hope that's also going to have something like as interesting as this section. And then we'll see if the game ends after that or if there's even more. Who knows? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.